Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we went to break, Pranav and Jesse were going back and forth. Pranav has already taken a um, stand, a stand fielder at Stunner. So we'll see um, how this match is, is keep going. He just he just got a snapmare takedown. So we'll see what goes on next. And we'll be getting right back to the action now. So here we go. Jesse picks up Pranav. Picks him up for that power bomb, but Pranav counters into a face buster or X Factor. Jesse wrist locks. Pranav goes for a headlock. Pull back uppercut there from Pranav. Goes to the headlock on Jesse and hits a belly to belly suplex, belly to back suplex. Well executed there, well scouted. And Pranav hits a pendulum backbreaker of his own. Stomps on Jesse a bit. And I'm not sure what the hell Pranav just did there, but uh, apparently he's trying to fire up. But counters. And oh, he hit his air, and oh, he's going for his uh, comeback. Hit Snake Eyes. Followed by a big boot and the leg drop. Here's the cover. One. Jesse says no. But he's going to eat a vertebraker. But no, he hits the repeating power bombs. Two. Pranav hits three. A triple power bomb there. What is he doing now? No, leave my table alone! God damn it! Leave my table alone, you dumb fucks! Pranav just destroyed my table. Jesse locks up. And Jesse throws Pranav onto the table now. What the hell is bro Jesse going to do now? Jesse hits the DDT through our table. That's three tables we broke today. Jesse picks Pranav back up, and oh, hits the spike DDT, and Pranav's been busted open. An elbow to the face. Pranav is bleeding unconsciously, and Jesse, oh god, goes for a flying headbutt under the concrete below. Good god, Jesse. He's acting like a man possessed. Pranav gets thrown into the post. And Pranav hits the uh, chop block. Uh, kick right to his knee. Pranav throws Jesse into the ring. Pranav gets back in the ring. Oh, he's going for the Ver vertebraker now. Beautiful. Hits it. Beautifully. Well, that's it. Is that all that Jesse's got left in the tank? Here's the cover. One, two. Jesse says no. Jesse throws him into the ropes. Kicks to the midsection. Wow, Jesse is just beating the dog shit out of Pranav this, this today, this match. He's taking multiple moves and painful moves and still going willing to go. Shows his resilience. But Pranav can bust it open while he got DDT'd and spike DDT'd into the floor down below. Followed by that headbutt. Pranav hits the uh, diving clothesline, hits an uppercut, punches uh, Jesse, and puts Jesse into the ropes, hits a DDT in the second rope, goes that through the other arm, here's the cover, one, Jesse says no, Jesse catches him, oh. Hits a, hits a theatrical field uh, stand fielder. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Jesse sending a message to Pranav. Flipping the bird as well. But my God, Jesse freaking flew. What a match between these two.
Those pair of stunners were uh, able to outmatch the Verta Breaker and the Triple Power Bombs. So, solid combo. Oh shit, what the fuck's going on now? Is Vlad and Geo still going at it? No, oh, what's going on? Our camera's running backstage. Hopefully they won't fail this time. Oh, it's Eric. Oh, yo, Eric. What was that about? What is it? Our final match will be at last man standing. Hope you are ready. We're up next. I'm always ready. The question is, are you? That's a stupid answer from a stupid... Stupid backstage interviewer. That stupid interviewer. I take him. I take pride in what I do. Whatever. Whatever. What have I gotten myself into? I'm not ready for this uh, last man standing match. Oh well. I'm just going to have to leave him face down in a puddle of his own blood. <laughs> He'll be the next naysayer to eat his words through a straw. Time to go. Oh, good God. And now we have one of our two main events of this evening. Our second main event is going to be Don vs. Adina. But uh, apparently the first one of our matches is going to be a last man standing match. So this is going to be good between these two. So we still haven't heard from Crazy Cobble yet. So our former CEO. So hopefully we'll get to that by the end of the show. But I this is going to be violent between these two. These two apparently absolutely hate each other from what we've seen. All well said, Mr. Roberts. But Stroll has, um, he's been very active in the last 12 weeks. He's been taking on everybody he eliminated at the Royal Rumble. This is just the final competitor he has to go through. He's won some, he's lost some. But very uh, out of character words out of Eric the Cobra Grunt. Him being more sinister, which is very odd of him. But I guess he has a point where he's had enough. So he's just gonna start hurting people. Well, last man saying, we haven't had many of those here. We've had a little bit of everything, but. It should be good, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourself in. 
one of our, our first of our two main events coming to you live right now. Here we go with tonight's last man standing match. And this one's going to be... Erica opens up with a headlock, throws a stroll into the ropes, and hits a short clothesline. Drops the dropping elbow. Eric goes to the wrist lock. Another gut buster there. Go to a headlock. And that shin breaker. Work on any parts he can or stroll. Eric runs, but runs into a twisting arm drag. Stroll locks out. Vertical, beautiful, beautiful vertical suplex on a stroll. Nice little jumping over DDT. And God, what a right hand there from uh, Eric Coverfront. He goes behind. Stroll counters into a headlock of his own. And hits a very big knee lift. Right to the face. Goes to the back for the wrist lock. Single leg takedown there from Stroll on Eric. Lands that forearm. They lock up a set in the center again. Stalemate. They lock up again. Stalemate again. Eric goes behind into that net breaker. Eric drops an elbow. They lock up again. And Eric hits the jawbreaker on Stroll. Eric picks up Stroll again. They lock up in the center. And they stalemate once again. That's three stalemates in a row now. Very evenly matched, these two. That's four stalemates. Eric spins him around, throws Stroll into the corner. So what's Eric doing now? It's that elbow. Is it a superplex? Fantastically executed there. Superplex on the top rope. Hits that overhand chop, goes behind. And hits the Manhattan drop. Stroll gets thrown into the ropes. And hits another uh, Manhattan drop. Here's a plum handle gut buster. Kicks the midsection. Stroll goes to the headlock of his own. Eric counters, goes behind, spins him around, standing switch. Throws Stroll in the other corner. And hits a flying forearm on Eric's face in the corner. Stomps on a bit. They lock him again. They stalemate once again. These two are very evenly matched. It's interesting. Eric counters, air counters, stroll counters into a hammerlock, pushes away. Hits that wheel kick. Actually, that was a roundhouse, but it hits the dragon screw takedown. Goes for the headlock. Stroll sends Eric into the ropes and hits the pullback for a backbreaker. Stroll goes behind. Eric counters into a wrist lock. And scoop slam stroll. Stroll comes out with that right hand, but no dice. Eric grabs behind him and hits a headbutt right to the base of Stroll's neck. Go for that arm crank, that leg crank. Stroll gets back up. Hits a nice little punch combination there. Eric hits it on his own. Goes back to the headlock, kicks the midsection. Double axe handle, followed by clothesline to the back. Goes after the arm. Ref begins the count. Stroll gets back up. It's a beautiful spin thrust kick there. Stroll picks him up. Goes to the headlock. Snapmare takedown, beautifully executed. Drops the elbow to the heart, and ref begins to count for Eric. Eric gets up, and Eric slaps the shit out of Stroll. Ref begins to count. Three. Really? Really? 
This can't end like that unless he slapped the jaw right out of Stroll. Apparently it's enough. Eric knocked the shit out of Stroll with that bitch slap right to the jaw. Stroll's not moving. Well, he's moving, but he's still face down. Very unexpected, but Eric staying true to some of his word, but we know Stroll has had some concussion issues as of late, and he's been bleeding a lot, so that might have played a factor in it, not sure. But Stroll is 2-2 two two with dealing with his uh, WrestleMania, his uh, Royal Rumble uh, elimination, so. Fuck, what now? I'm glad, Gio. Cameras are running backstage again, and... Hey, you punk-ass kid! What the fuck goes to Dina? Oh, ain't no kid, jerk-off. What do you want? I'm informing you that our... I'm going to cut you off right there, old man. Holy shit, some tenacity from an eye. Uh, Adina. Um... I know our match is the last man standing. It's up next. Duh. Okay. So get your ass moving so I can beat you into unconsciousness. Get out of my f get out of my face before I pregame it with your face. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a veteran of this league, you ungrate. Time talk talk is over. I'm going to finish what curse started and put you back where you belong. Back in the senior home. Wow. Adina is not taking any of Don's shit. And oh, here's one of the other corners. The hell is going on? Don, think uh, Don is shocked that he got talked down to like a dog, but he's being a dick as of late, so I should think he should expect it. But cameras are panning to somewhere else. One of our crews are running down. And oh crap. Fuck you Russian bigot. Oh god. No fuck you and your stupid American. Oh god. Geo and Vlad are going into my office now. God damn it. Finally security's getting in there. Get out of my fucking office assholes. That's enough. Save it for next week. Had a fucking good thing I was in my fucking office. Shit. So that's gonna. I'm gonna have to deal with that next week of these two because they're gonna fucking kill each other. And I should just let them kill each other. Which gives me an idea for a couple weeks from now. So they can stay confined but not escape. That's it. That's the match. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Well, anywho, we're going to get back to our second main event of the evening. Which is going to be Don versus Pernov. Yeah, as soon as they probably make their way to the ring, we're probably going to go to commercial break. So uh, we can bring you this match in its entirety. But, wow, Don, this is the first time someone's actually set up to Don besides Kerr knocking him into next Tuesday. But. 
this is gonna be this is gonna be physical. Apparently, these two people hate they hate each other worse than Corey hates Don. Apparently. But man, Dina's got a chip on his shoulder or something. Because well, he won the first round, he lost the second round due to those fucking low blows from fucking Don, being the dirtiest player in the book. So I guess he's going to finish the job that, um, or attempt to finish the job that Corey started by throwing his ass through a table and knocking him into next Tuesday. So, Well, this is going to be very, this is going to be a physical match. I think, uh, we haven't seen B, uh, we haven't seen Adina be this aggro towards somebody. But after so many times of taking uh, shortcuts and stuff like that, it can drive a man to do things he doesn't want to do. In this particular one, he's pushed the envelope and is going to beat the old man to the point where he goes back to the senior home. So, this is going to be a bad day, but someone's got to put Don in his place, and Dina's going to be that guy, apparently, so. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, and we will go right to commercial break. We will be right back. 